Hello all, welcome to Netbook and welcome back to MuleSoft tutorial. Today I'm planning to show what is a flow, what is a subflow, what is a private flow and uh, how we should use them and when to use what. That is what I'm going to discuss today. So let me take uh, my previous example. That is a customer API, which I'm going to uh, reframe it uh, using this flow, flow reference, subflow and um, private flow. Yes, uh, so first of all, if you see all whatever we created, this is I was telling that flow. And if I go over here and say flow, you have something called the flow reference, flow, subflow there are three things mainly it is coming as a flow parts but in terms of if you talk about it flows so the flow private flow and then subflow these are the three things it are there and there is something called flow reference okay this is the four things you can remember now i'm going to discuss about what is a flow first then what is private flow what is subflow then what is a flow reference that is what I'm going to discuss and how to use them in my existing API. That is what I'm going to explain. So I have created this create customer API flow. This is called as a flow. As soon as I drag and drop something over here, it's creating a flow. Okay. So that means by default, it is going to create a flow over here, right? When you have a when you have something event generator or and that is flow it is going to generate see here this is flow which is contain event generator plus processors that is called as a flow and you don't have something called private flow over here you can use a flow itself drag and drop over here that is again a, a flow but it is not exactly as the common regular flow what is mean by that we will call this as flow as of now but as soon as if we keep some processor over here this is called as a private flow then you can say what is the difference between these two then you can ask me what is the difference between these two the flow will contain event generator plus flow uh, the processor but private flow will have a option of event generator to keep but we are not going to use it that and we are going to use only the processor within the private flow okay then that is clear right so flow is having regular flow is having event generator plus processor and private flow will have only uh, processors then we have something called subflow over here I just drag and drop over here put it over here if you see that you don't have a feasibility of you don't have a feasibility of keeping a event generator over here you can have only processor over here in the subflow you can see I can use only processors not a event generator if i keep listener over here you can see there is a red mark over here it is showing it will not keep a event uh, event generator component over here so the difference now we can understand the flow is going to have event generator plus processor the private flow will contain processor but it has option of event generator and the subflow will have only the option of keeping the process then there is one more difference the private flow can contain a error handler as well as your main flow that is uh, uh, regular flow uh, we can have error handler but you will not have an option of this subflow then what will happen in case of any error occurred in this flow in this subflow that I will discuss in coming uh, uh, further. Okay, so I hope you understood this. Other than that, you can select this private flow and you can see there is a flow management over here that is initial state 
either if you want to start it or stop so as soon as you start to uh, deploy your project you can select option of this either started or stopped based on that it will start by default it will be started and as well as you can set the maximum concurrency also over here that means at a time in the run time when you trigger any transaction how many transactions can run parallelly that concurrency you can put it over here okay the same option will be available for your regular flow also but you will not have that option over here okay so that is all about uh, the private flow subflow and regular flow then how i am going to use it over here in this in my project so over here if you see this flow is somehow the bigger one in the real time you will see some more bigger flows then you want to keep it some of the components into separate and uh, make it them reuse if it is the same functionality if you are going to use as well as if you want to cut down flow and uh, you know refer them you can do that in a uh, using this uh, flows subflows as well as flow references so i'm going to talk about it so if you can see i'm going to move these two components okay the choice condition within that whatever it is there and retrieve into separately how i'm going to do let me take a subflow i'm going to say after this maybe after this flow i'm going to put it over here the subflow what i'm going to do that retrieve component i'm going to drag and drop over here similarly the choice component i'm going to drag and drop to within this subflow okay that means i divided this update customer flow into two parts to divide into big flow into smaller uh, flows you can see now i can put it over here the renaming this is subflow this name i change it you don't need to change it uh, if you don't like but the meaningful name should be there so i divided this now from this flow i need to call this subflow how i can call you have something called a flow reference okay you can use a flow reference over here sorry that is flow reference you can drag and drop over here and then from the drop down from the drop down you can select update customer api subflow over here you can change the dis display name also as you want it now you can see this flow has divided and it is easy to maintain and understand update customer flow comes over here setting a variable flow reference and over here this is referring the flow reference is referring another subflow i can use right click over here go to the flow reference okay so that is how we can use uh, so the flow reference is used for calling a flow or uh, uh, not a flow i can say calling a private flow or subflow from another flow or for some other private flow or subflow also okay so that is how we can use it uh, here now how i can use the private flow um i can divide this uh, i can divide this delete flow i can use a flow drag and drop over here the same thing what i have done from the update flow i'm just dragging and dropping over here and choice also i'm going to drag and drop over here inside okay that is what i'm doing with this i can do a i can do a error handler also within this uh, private flow this is the private flow now i can call from my main flow over here to this private flow using this flow reference again still you can drag and drop this flow reference in main flow and from the drop down okay let me rename this flow uh, before that 
to keep it some meaningful name okay so i can use it over here as i can say private flow okay save it now we can go back to the your main flow and from drop down you can select this flow flow name and put a uh, display name also as it is so when to use what so whenever in your project maybe this you want to maintain some flow management like initial start and all and maintain some maximum concurrency in that case you can use a private flow and as well as you don't have a requirement of message or a event generator okay otherwise try to use a private flow if you are going to have a reuse of the flows as well as um, making your flows smaller pieces then you can use a private and this uh, subflow so you will not have a flow management over here now what happens if it is failure over here directly this error will be propagated to the component where it is called this is called from here right so this will handle the error handler over here whatever it is there okay so in case of any error handler you implement that will be taken care from here the regular flow that is a main flow will contain the event source event processor as well as error handler then we have something called private flow which is a regular flow without event source it is exactly same as regular flow but it will not contain only the event source that is the event generator but we can invoke using the flow reference just i have shown that and we have data view code that i will be talking about uh, in a further videos what is data view and all using that code also you can invoke this private flow we have something called api route kit using that component also you can invoke a private flow then coming to the subflow the subflow will be having only the event processor and it can be invoked using the flow, flow reference api route kit but you can't call using this code data view code and no support for flow level um, uh, flow level that is like maximum concurrencies initial state those things will not support as well as it will not support flow level management also and performance wise it is better than regular and private flow so for the performance better performance you can use the subflows okay that is what it is high level so i hope uh, this is clear what is a flow what is subflow and what is a private flow as well as the flow reference okay so that's it for today see you in the next video thank you for watching this video please like share subscribe netbook thank you Thank you.